The InDesign Magazine Viewer app allows you to choose an issue and view it, which then brings you to the cover. Once at the cover, you can swipe the image to the left, which brings up the Navigation Instructions page. Tapping the center of the screen brings up navigation bars, including the Table of Contents. Here you can select any article, which will take you directly to that article. Once you're viewing an article, you scroll up to see more of the article below. You can scroll to the left to see the next page or article. You can also tap the screen to bring up the navigation bars and see a waterfall view. Here you can see the entire issue and choose a place to zoom into. InDesign Magazine on the iPad in the horizontal view is image heavy and we like it that way. We wanted to provide a better reader experience. So the vertical version, we removed the images, increased the type size, increased the leading, and created a single column view for easy reading. Because we had removed the images in the vertical version of the articles, we decided to create inline figure pop-ups. These were created as multi-state objects and buttons in InDesign CS5. The InDesign Magazine app contains tutorial videos like this one here, which were placed through the Interactive Overlay Creator, and also interactive buttons which were created using multi-state objects in InDesign CS5. One of the more exciting features of the iPad is interactivity. Here we've created an autoplay of a color wheel. We also created a user-controlled experience of the same wheel. This was using the 360 viewer. Using the slideshow feature of the interactive overlay creator, we created these interactive buttons, which display different positions on the color wheel. Using the slideshow command again, we were able to create interactive buttons which would display different artwork on the right-hand side of this page, as well as different captions below. The InDesigner column showcases designers and their work, and as such we need to show portfolio images. The best way was to use an image pan technique. Here we can scroll from right to left within the page and see some more of the images. The real surprise came when we went with our vertical version. We were able to use the same technique but show full page images of this particular designer's work.